I've got it. Helping the people. Fine. Part of my mission is to get the poor man's versions. And it's also to screw over Daniel Whittington. A self-proclaimed not bourbon enthusiast. But he thinks it's fine. He finds some things that he really likes and appreciates. But he does not know his way around a bourbon. Nearly as much as he knows his way around a scotch. Daniel Whittington! Yes? I summon thee. I've been What is the most summoned. expensive bourbon you have? I have a really fancy whiskey. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to hide from you. Yes. And um, it's the Fitzgerald 20 year old half bottle that now there's this limited, it was already like $500 a bottle or more and now yeah. uh, because they all got bought up and they're rare that are even more expensive on the secondary market. <laughs> You had me at hide from me. And this is not what I had prepared myself for. I was gonna give you the most rare bourbon. Wait, which is better? Things. All right, all right, wait, wait, come here. Or a rare bourbon. Shh, shh, shh. Not the most. Shh, shh, shh. Yes. So, I want to bring you into the process here. I'm gonna give you an option. Okay. You bring me. Bring me, <laughs> service me, yeah. satiate my raging desire. <laughs> this is getting real elaborate. For uh, my moochiness. I want either the most expensive or the rarest bourbon you have. What are my options? Well, okay, so we could either go mm. with an expensive 20 year old John Fitzgerald half bottle bourbon. Mm hmm. Or we could go with a pretty rare Old Forester birthday edition from 2016. How about between those two? Which is more delicious and amazing? I prefer the Fitzgerald, but uh, what do you I may prefer? prefer the Old Forester. This is what we need to do right now. Okay. You bring me a sample of each. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do I need to push the bell? No. I'll do it. You know what this is? This is like... Careful. This was like... Careful. When Princess Leia was in chains with the... with Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> I'll have you... I'm gonna, I want you to see what I'm doing for you right now. Okay, look at this. That's, That's all I have left <laughs> of the John F. Fitzgerald 20. That is tiny, man. I'm not joking. So this we're going to do poor man's version of one of these. Try it first. Wait, wait, wait. I'll get you the other one. Ooh. Or the 2016... Dude, that's barely enough to even... No, this is to decide which one we're going to commit to. Okay. Jeez, dude. Oh. There's got to be limits to this mushiness. Oh. Set... Oh! How do... How do you decide? Rexman! There's more character in the old Forester, but the 20 Fitzgerald is super smooth. Raging cherry in that one. Yeah. This one is smooth and complex. And buttery. And buttery, give me You that. went for the Fitzgerald? The Fitzgerald. God. Wait, was that with the expense? <laughs> that, was, that was the expense. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, so, in a tiny... A, so, I'll tell you. Did you burp on my shirt? I did. Did you burp? I'll tell and making it, oh, Rex really Munt less classy. All right, I will tell you that before Rex showed up, I had prepped to understand the old Forester birthday because I was hoping he would pick that one. Oh no! But I couldn't control the mooch. No, you can't. <laughs> no, I tried to control the mooch. Oh, All right. Oh, this is an adorable bottle. It's got like a it's fancy. It's also expensive. Yeah, that's just that's not really something I'm too concerned about in the moment. Now, you know who I need right now? Chrissy Martin. Yeah. A little dab of bourbon and the drinking darlings. Yeah, yeah. Because she is a true bourbon enthusiast sure. and she gets this sh Right. She would be able to taste this and tell me how to build this thing. I'm flying blind because bourbon is not my home turf. Ah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, wait. No, there's... There's a limit. To, <laughs> no, there's a limit to mooch money, and you just found it. There's a bell. no. F that. There's a bell. F that. Give I will here. end. I'll burn the show to the ground before I smell her. Uh, no, not happening.
Don't worry, we only have a year and 11 months left. Eucalyptus. Oh, really? Slight burn, uh, barrel burn. Mm -hmm. It's, um, let's look at the proof. Yeah. Oh, there it is in tiny letters. 45. 45, okay, so it's not the proof that's burning, it's the barrel. So this is a barrel heavy eucalyptus whiskey. Mm -hmm. So, uh, strangely enough, I'm gonna start with bullet bourbon. Really? As my base, because that's a eucalyptus bourbon. And you're gonna have to figure out how to tone down all those, all those sharp edges. Yeah. Okay. I don't right. think this is as smooth as you think it is. Really? I think it's smooth compared to the old Forester, maybe. Well, definitely, yeah, because that old Forester was was bitey. Dude, I'm I'm halfway there with bullet. Well, I will be the judge. All right, there's my bite and my eucalyptus. Now what I need to find is wait. Now what I need to find is some earth and a little bit of cherry. Barry Horton. Little basketball coaching. Square off the shoulders and follow through with the worst. Follow through with the wrist pointing down to the floor, guys. Now maybe you should try to jump like I said. Just saying. So, like, the first day of the trash can can, it was... It was, uh... Not a good showing. Not a good showing. But the second day... Rex Moth. Yeah. And I didn't have the camera turned on, but it totally went in there. Uh, Cliff Shanty, I want to say thank you both for you, the, for the humor and the education. I just started learning and enjoying whiskey. Um, 90% through the episodes. They've bought eight different bottles in the last three weeks. You guys need to start tasting more whiskeys you don't like before I go broke. Yeah. Nah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. So far, I'm really liking Monkey Shoulder, uh, Monkey Shoulder and Angel's Damn. Envy. Took it the wrong way. With that said, I can't for the life of me pick the different notes. Pick out the different notes. Any advice on how to start recognizing those, or is it really just uh, be confident when I state what I taste? So, to answer your question, uh, part of it comes with acclimating to the whiskey. The more you drink, the more right. you start to pick out those individual flavor notes. Hold on, shut your filthy hole. I'm at 80%. And the other part is realizing that taste is so incredibly subjective that if you're getting a hint of something, there's not a wrong or right answer, right? It is so subjective, it is so personal, that for you, you could be getting brown sugar, you could be getting apple, you could be getting eucalyptus, banana, whatever. That's what you are tasting. So for you to share what I'm experiencing mm -hmm. in this moment are these hints of flavors. And it's not like you're eating an actual banana, for example. Yeah. It's that you're getting a hint of banana. Um, and what you have, what, what you're tasting moments after tasting a different whiskey is going to be dramatically different than if you're off the back, uh, off the heels of like a curry or a creme brulee or something crazy like that. So what you had moments before affects it. There's no right, right or wrong answer. Just rank the stuff and enjoy it. Acclimate to the alcohol and start picking out those individual, individual flavor notes. Fair enough. Yeah. So I think I'm 80%. Have you serviced me well? <laughs> makes me feel really uncomfortable, that sentence. Okay. Already, on the nose, I'm getting the tiniest, tiniest bit more peanuts on whatever this concoction yes, is. Yes, that's true. That's gonna come from the four roses. I'm getting more cherry in this. Mm-hmm. More of a, a bitey, bitey apple in this. Yeah. But you're like 76, 70, right, 76, 70, 70, uh, 77 of the way there. You, know, <laughs> you just said that because you want me to pour it. No, well, dude, no. Look, there's certain things that I will totally bullshit about. Other things uh, that you know what it, it does the people no good for me to talk out of my ass. And this is like 70, oh, 77, 77 percent of the way there. I don't know, that was that was a, a dash and a dose. That was a dash and a dose. Yeah, that's it. But I nailed it. That was Old Forester Signature 100 proof. Dude, I actually, <laughs> I really nailed that one. <laughs> I think I got closer than I did on the scotches. I totally got closer than I did. Those are the same f***ing whiskey. <laughs> I am king of all things. And I can say that during Rex week. Mon! Mon! You get the f out of here! Rex Mon! So did you did you explain what was in here? 
Okay, he this took that... a lot of whiskeys. Okay. So, but luckily, you get this in a half bottle, right? So we started with a base of bullet. That's 20 bucks, right? I added a, a weed dash of the Bell Mead Sherry cask, okay. which is expensive. It's like 40 bucks, but you only need a dash, so this is going to go a long way. I added a larger dash of Jefferson Reserve to add the smooth note yeah. and level everything out. And then I added in the Four Roses single barrel to bring the alcohol bite back a little bit and the barrel yeah. bite back. But it was missing cherry, and so I added Old Forester 100 to bring the cherry note back. Okay. I that is one, two, three, four, five whiskeys to create this one magical, glorious whiskey. I feel good about the expensive whiskey we were able to emulate. <laughs> we got a long road ahead of us. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.